United Airlines has found loose bolts on the door plugs of some Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes during inspections. The checks were triggered after a door plug of an Alaska Airlines jet blew out mid-flight last week. Investigators are still trying to determine exactly what happened. Now, the two U.S. carriers grounded the Boeing model after the incident, causing hundreds of flights to be canceled. One of the missing pieces of the puzzle, the door panel that fell out of the Alaska Airlines flight midair, found in the garden of a high school teacher in the U.S. state of Oregon. My heart did start beating a little faster at that point because I thought, oh my goodness, people have been looking for this all weekend and it looks like it's in my backyard. Investigators are still in the process of trying to identify exactly what caused the panel to blow off the Boeing 737 and if it had been properly installed. The, the exam to date has shown that the door, in fact, did translate upward all 12 stops became disengaged, allowing it to blow out of the fuselage. Uh, we found that both guide tracks on the plug were fractured. Uh, we have not yet recovered the four bolts uh, that restrain it from its vertical movement, and we have not yet determined if they existed there. That will be determined when we take the plug to our lab in Washington, D.C. Passengers on board the flight captured the moments after the door panel blew off the plane. Some reached for oxygen masks. The Alaska Airlines flight was at an altitude of 16,000 feet when it began its emergency descent, with a gaping hole on the side of the plane. The plane landed safely with over 170 people on board. U.S. regulators have ordered a temporary grounding of some Boeing 737 MAX 9 jets for inspections. United Airlines and Alaska Airlines have both identified loose hardware in several of their 737 MAX aircraft, including door bolts that need tightening. This contributes to serious concerns over the safety of the 737 MAX model which was involved in two deadly crashes months apart in 2018 and 2019. And for more on this, let's bring in Stephen Wright, an international aviation and safety expert. He's the president of the Finnish Association of Aeronautical Engineers and joins us from Tempera. Thank you so much for joining us here on DW News. What do you make of the fact that inspectors have now found loose bolts on some other of these planes? Hello there, Sarah. Um, I'm not surprised that uh, other problems have started to be uh, discovered. This type of event uh, indicates that it is based on a latent type failure, a hidden problem. And when you go looking for these hidden problems very carefully, you find that the problem doesn't often exist just with one individual unit, i.e. the Alaska Airlines aircraft, but rather it will affect a much larger number of aircraft. And so this, this type of event, discovering things like this, this isn't new. So do you then share the assessment that the investigations so far indicate a construction problem rather than one with maintenance? Is that how we should interpret this? Yeah, very much so. Um, you have to put this all into perspective. This is a brand new aircraft. It's only been out of the factory a matter of months. It's gone to the customer, gone to the airline, and they haven't used it very much. They've been preparing it. They've probably done some test flights. And then they've put it into commercial service. What this means is it's new. They haven't needed to do any maintenance at all. And what we're more focused on here, these loose bolts, these are behind a plastic door panel. So... You can't see them with the naked eye with the, the interior panel vis um, when it's fitted. You have to take the panel off, get a torque wrench out, and then start mechanically checking things to see if it's been installed properly. So what sort of scale are we talking about here when, when we talk about fixing the problem? Can it be fixed easily if it's you know, a structural problem, like what you're highlighting there? Well, it's, it's 
to me, it sounds like it's an assembly problem in the production phase. Um, we, uh, until they find the bolts that hold this thing together, then we won't know. But what we do know is that other aircraft have got the fastenings, the correct fastenings attached. That's the most important thing. Are they the right bolts? If they're the right bolts, have they been put in correctly? And the ones that they've found haven't. And it's not just one aircraft that they've found. We're talking about more than one, which then implies there's a big production problem. Aviation expert Stephen Wright, thank you so much um, for that perspective, that analysis of the situation. We appreciate it. Thank you. Let's look at this with Gerald Vissel. He's an aviation expert and CEO of Airborne Consulting. He joins us from Hamburg. Welcome to DW. Uh, this is a scary story, this idea that there were loose bolts uh, on these aircraft. We all assume, as the travelling public, that, that aeroplanes are inspected and, and, and to within an inch of their lives. How could this have happened? Yeah, I feel... Uh, that's a, a really good question. Um, so normally we know it's, it's it's a problem with the aircraft. So we have to consider in general three levels, construction, production, or um, the maintenance level. So in the case of the 737 MAX 9, it, uh, the problem appears uh, to, be the, to be on the uh, production level. To answer your question and to, to understand especially what really happens, we have to look shortly at the history background of this uh, aircraft. So a com a, normally a production of a complete new aircraft is, is very time consuming and um, it takes a lot of time. So this is why an existing aircraft is, is modified and to improve and optimize. So the 737 MAX, what we see here, is a modernized version of the um, Boeing 737-900ER. And um, this version in, in normally was allowed to carry a maximum of 189 passengers. But there were a demand of air, uh, some airlines uh, to increase the number of passengers. So the manufacturer of Boeing has to increase the number of emergency exits as well. So and um, so and the, the fuselage of the 737 MAX yeah, has um, uh, um, has copied this. So because it's based on that aircraft with these extended numbers of emergency exits. Alaska Airlines um, has only uh, a version for 178 uh, passengers, so they did not need this additional uh, emergency exit, and they have to replace, replace this emergency exit with a fusage panel or plug. And um, normally, fusage page, uh, uh, parts are, are, are joined together with rivets, but in this case, um, it was uh, just mounted with, with uh, bolts. And um, in uh, what we see here, and this is this this uh, the, the answer of your question is that it looks that it was a problem during the manufacturing of the aircraft, and that these poles um, were not mounted in that way that it is secured and cannot fly out. Right. So these. So if, and I appreciate that we are speculating now because we're only going off news reports. But if if this came from the manufacturer like that with these loose bolts, it is not normal uh, during maintenance to check them uh, whether or not they're tight enough. It would just be presumed that it is fine. Yeah, the, the maintenance is based on, on, an, uh, on a maintenance schedule. And uh, when we talk about fuselage maintenance, so there's a, a longer time period between the, the, the maintenance uh, uh, activities. So uh, what I think is that it was not a maintenance uh, or inspection uh, issue because it was not, was not the time in, in the maintenance book to look at this special uh, uh, part. So um, at the end, uh, it comes uh, back to the production and it was a production issue of, of Boeing. And um, I think this is what, what, what went wrong at that time, so from my point of view. Right. So these models have been uh, grounded, um, uh, 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 certainly uh, from, stopped from flying into American airspace. I believe the UK has stopped it uh, as well. Do they get sent back to the manufacturer or does someone with a, a big spanner go round all these aircraft and make sure that, that these are all tightened up? Yeah, oh, I, I, I think it's, it's around 170 aircraft at the moment, um, uh, active mostly with United Airlines and also Alaska Airlines. So um, they are grounded at the moment and have to be inspected and repaired if necessary. So Boeing must bear the repair costs and also loss of, of revenue. So, and the extent to which 
airlines uh, so uh, okay so so they this is what what goes back to boeing and and at the end and i think this is the the most uh, important part is that the faa the the relevant authority in the us they have to independently review the refi- the, the, the production process and and the quality management so to ensure that the uh, delivery of an aircraft is uh, 100% compliant yeah, to all safety requirements I, this is from my point of view the most uh, uh, important part so um, i think when when they check the aircraft they inspect the aircraft they can they, they can fix the problem but at the end we have to look also at the production and process of Boeing and also of the quality assurance process. Right. And so if all this is found to be down to the, the production process, this is a disaster for Boeing, isn't it? Absolutely, it is. So uh, we, we we saw some, some similar problems in the past uh, with other aircraft types. Um, uh, uh, linked to the production process, so it, it and uh, they already they had a trust problem, and, um, and and they repeatedly assured that they fixed it and they work on structures and processes. So, however, it it does not really seem that the, that it be uh, sufficient, and I assume that there must be independent audits of the production process under and under the supervision of the FAA in order to res- restore this trust and additionally also the european aviation S- uh, safety sh- agency so the asa will also have to consider very carefully so what to extent uh, to, uh, to what extent to can rely on boeing statements and if necessary demand further in the, in investigations so again it is absolutely serious for boeing and and they have to to uh, uh, bring back the trust especially on production and quality assurance processes so are there therefore wider implications for the aviation industry because as you say that there is a there is a maintenance protocol but if you're not looking for something because you it, it's not part of uh, uh, of of what needs to be maintained then surely this might be a problem that applies to other models and other manufacturers in this case, I think it's it's only applied to this mod, this specific model. As I said, with the uh, with the uh, emergency exit numbers, but you're right. But when we look back and say, okay, there's a construction process first uh, f- with the construction of an aircraft and and the prototypes, and there are a, a lot of requirements, safety requirements before an aircraft gets a type certificate and is ready then to, to for the mass production. And these processes are uh, very, very um, well designed, and uh, and they are uh, inspected uh, by the by the authorities, so that we can assure normally that an aircraft right. which has this type certificate that is 100% safe. Okay, thank you for talking us through that, uh, aviation expert Gerald Vissel from Airborne Consulting. Thank you. Thank you.